Hey guys, Dr. Cliff Olson from Applied Hearing Solutions, and in this video, I'm talking about the Oticon Open Hearing Aid, coming up. The Oticon Open Hearing Aid is probably one of the hottest hearing aids on the market that we've seen in a while. Uh, it took the world really by storm when it came out, and it's because it has the direct-to-iPhone capability, and it also has the ability to connect to the internet through ifthisthenthat.com, which is I-F-T-T-T. Dot com. What this allows you to do is actually connect with different smart devices around your home, uh, your car, your coffee pot, lights, things like that, and your hearing aid can actually communicate directly with those devices. It's not something that a traditional hearing aid user might expect from a hearing aid, but if you're someone who's really into technology, it's a really cool feature to be able to have. Now the concept of why they actually call it the open hearing aid is they're completely changing the way that they're uh, treating noise, right? So a traditional hearing aid, when you get into a noisy situation, what happens is it's almost like the hearing aid puts blinders on, right? It focuses on the sound that you're getting from your front and it doesn't focus as much as on, as much on sound that you're getting from behind you and on the sides. And what this creates is almost kind of like a tunnel vision effect with a hearing aid. So imagine if you're sitting at the dinner table and you have someone sitting to your side and they start talking to you but it's it's noisy enough during dinner that the hearing aid was would kick into this uh, front focusing mode you might miss what that person sitting next to you is saying uh, even though you can hear the person in front of you really well open really tries to remove that and the way that they do that is that the hearing aid is so quick now so their processor is so much faster that it can actually keep the listening landscape open and eliminate noise from different directions, even though it's intermingled with speech that you may want to hear. So that's how they allow it to stay. It gives you this more open feeling, hence the name Oticon Open, and allows you to perform a lot better in background noise. Now, I'm one of the first people, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, I am one of the first audiologists to, to say that you know, noise features and things like that inside of hearing aids don't really work that well. What you really want to be using is some kind of remote listening device like a remote microphone or turning your iPhone into a remote microphone. The, the problem is with the open is that as of right now, they don't have access to a remote microphone that you can use, which has limited some of my recommending of this hearing aid to individuals who really struggle in noise. But that being said, from a hearing aid standpoint, the open is, I believe, the best when it comes to having, helping you function in a noisy situation. The open comes in three performance levels. It starts with the open one, then it goes to the open two and the open three. You will be able to tell a difference in how well it uh, works in a background noise type situation, but all three levels really are terrific and I would put them on par with other levels of hearing, or sorry, with other premium levels of hearing aids or top tier hearing aids from any of the other major manufacturers. What they've also done is they've also added a BTE to their line. So if you're someone who needs a ear mold with an actual tube, you now have access to the open technology, which is terrific. Other little things that are really good about the Oticon Open Hearing Aid is that you have access to tinnitus features. So certain sounds, uh, you know, white noise, things like that, uh, ocean waves, all of those different types of distracting sounds that might actually be able to help you with your tinnitus as well if wearing the hearing aid alone doesn't already give you relief from tinnitus, which we know to be around 60% of individuals uh, will get benefit from that standpoint. One of the other things is that the Oticon Open line is now able to be paired with the Z-Power rechargeable battery system. So if you are someone who doesn't like to use batteries or you would prefer a rechargeable option, Open now gives you that uh, as an option. You do have to pay 
extra for the charging kit for that and the batteries that go with it. But uh, on each charge, you could be able to get up to around 19 and a half hours if you're not doing any kind of streaming. Once you start doing streaming, like from an iPhone or from uh, your TV box, something like that, the amount of battery life will drop down and it can get as low as maybe 12 to 14 hours, depending on how much you're streaming. So even though I love the Oticon Open so much, there actually are some negatives. The first negative is really that the ear molds from this company aren't my favorite. I've been able to get them to work, but there's usually a lot more modification that has to happen with this particular company, uh, which is fine. You just have to be willing to spend the time to get it done. Now, if you're one of the types of individuals with your type of hearing loss that doesn't require using a custom ear mold, then you are, th this is probably one of your best options in terms of hearing and background noise and connecting to an iPhone. Uh, you can connect to Android, but this is another one of the negatives. Android doesn't let you stream to the Oticon Open Hearing Aid. So beware of that. You can use it like a remote control, but that's about it. All in all, the Oticon Open Hearing Aid is probably one of my top three hearing aids that I like to that I like to use with patients because it just it flat out performs so well. I would put it up there with the Phonak Titanium uh, completely uh, in the canal, invisible in the canal hearing aid, and I would also put it up there with the Phonak Audeo line of hearing aids, which I think are terrific Rick style hearing aids. Um, but if you're someone who is struggling in noise and you want any little extra bit of help that you can get, going with the Oticon Open might be a really good option for you, particularly when they come out with their remote microphone here later in 2017. That's it for me, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Take care.